Okay, the first day of Chag HaMatzot. Okay, so we see that that's a high day. And by the way, just so we can kind of uh, hold your place here, I just want to kind of bring out something that's important because this helps with figuring out the death, burial, and resurrection of the Messiah. Go to John 19. Well, we're going to hardly get through as much as I thought I'd get through today. Okay, John 19. Okay. And we're going to look at verse 31. This is an important verse for you to know where it is because this helps people with understanding how to calculate the death, burial, and resurrection. How many of you still believe, well, you don't have to write that hands in, or always thought that he died on Friday? All these hands go up, right? Okay, why do we think he died on Friday? Because it says that they had to get him down because the next day was a Sabbath. Well, let's read John 19, 31. Therefore, since it was the preparation day, that's what they call the day always before any Sabbath, that the body should not remain on the stake on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high one. See, there's your hint. It wasn't the weekly Sabbath. It was a high Sabbath. And so what high Sabbath happens right then? If you know your Leviticus 23, you know this Passover, and then it starts right into the first day of unleavened bread, the first of Chag HaMatzot. It's a high day. So they needed to get him down because of Passover and unleavened bread, not because it was Friday. And so you can see how the Wednesday, the Wednesday crucifixion would take you to Wednesday night, you know, starts, it's after sundown, starts the first day of unleavened bread. Thursday was the first day of unleavened bread. They had to get him down. Nobody was going to go to the tomb on Friday because Friday is the preparation day for the weekly Sabbath. They certainly weren't going to show up on Saturday because that was the weekly Sabbath. And so they all showed up on Sunday. We could also see that they went to buy oils on that Friday to get the oils to prepare for him. They weren't buying the oils on Saturday to prepare to give him, bring him on Sunday. Okay? And so what you see is he was killed on the, when was he killed? The ninth hour, well, three in the afternoon. And so three days and three nights, he would have been resurrected Saturday afternoon about three o'clock because he is Lord of the Sabbath. And so why wouldn't he be raised on the Sabbath? Now, of course, when the people show up Sunday morning, the angel didn't say he left five minutes ago. He said, why are you here? He's already gone. He's been gone. He's been gone for a while. He's been gone. But the key is the hints that you find in, in different places in the New Testament to show that if you're looking from a, a Hebraic Israelite mindset and you know your Tanakh, you know your Torah, you know your Old Testament, oh, it's a high day. I know what a high day is. There are seven of them. Let's see. This isn't during Sukkot. This isn't during Shavuot. This, oh, it's during Passover time. It's right before Passover. He was killed when they killed the lambs. So that night began the first annual high day, the first annual Shabbat. So they had to get him down because that day was a high day.